Hello everyone. This video is about glycemic index, the meaning of glycemic index, its significance and how it is calculated and with some examples of the foods with high and low glycemic index. Glycemic index is simple. It is a measure of the effect of carbohydrates on the blood sugar level. So when you take any meal that has some effect on the blood sugar level. So the extent of the effect of the particular meal is called as glycemic index. There are some foods that rapidly increase the blood sugar level. Those have the high glycemic index. Where are them, there are some foods which have very less effect on the blood sugar level and we call them as low glycemic index foods. So this glycemic index can be calculated by using a formula where increment area under glucose tolerance curve after 50 grams of the test meal is divided by incremental area under curve after 50 grams of the reference meal that is glucose and it is multiplied by 100. So here we are dividing the effect of the 50 grams of the test meal and effect of the 50 grams of the reference meal and it is multiplied by the 100. Here we can see in graph there are two curves one indicated in black other one in red. So the black curve indicates the test meal means 50 grams of a test meal is given and it is compared its effect on the blood sugar level is compared with the same amount that is 50 grams of the reference meal that is glucose. Here you can see the effect of the test meal is less than the effect of the reference meal. Coming to the significance of high GI and low GI, there are some foods or carbohydrates which when taken they break down quickly during digestion and release the glucose rapidly into the blood circulation and those are called as high GI foods. In contrast to that there are some foods when taken they break down more slowly and these foods they release glucose gradually into the circulation and these are called as low GI foods. So when a person takes high GI food his blood glucose level is increased rapidly whereas when a person takes a food that contains low GI value then his blood glucose level is not fluctuated rapidly so it is slowly increased. Food with low GI has health benefits. So when a person takes a food which has low GI, it leads to lower glycemic response which in turn leads to lower insulin demand. So thereby it helps to control the blood glucose level in long term. But when person takes food with high GI value, it affects the blood sugar in such a way that it leads to higher glycemic response, insulin demand will be increased and that leads to poor control of the blood glucose level. Coming to examples of the foods with uh, low GI and high GI values, always we have to prefer foods that have low GI value instead of the high GI values. And here you can see the most common food items uh, if you consider rice, brown rice has low GI value whereas the white rice that is polished rice has high GI value. 